There was a time when everyone thought Tesla would rule the electric vehicle kingdom. But now, BYD, the underdog Chinese automaker, has taken the electric vehicle world by storm, leaving even Tesla scrambling to catch up. But what's behind BYD's meteoric rise? Is it their innovative technology, their aggressive expansion strategy, or something else entirely? And most importantly, is this a one-time upset or a sign of a significant shift in the electric vehicle landscape? Let's get into BYD's shocking rise and Tesla's struggle to keep pace. At the end of 2023, BYD swooped in and snatched the crown from Tesla to become the top dog in the electric vehicle EV game. Pretty impressive, right? Now, you might be wondering if BYD is basking on a sweet victory. Elon Musk gave them props, admitting that BYD means serious business. So BYD is like rapper Drake. They didn't start at the top. They hustled from the ground up. But how did they go from making budget phone batteries to ruling the electric car world? And the big question on everyone's mind, how long can they keep that number one spot? In the final quarter of 2023, BYD outpaced Tesla in battery-only cars for the first time, a milestone in the car industry's evolution. Most of BYD's sales happen right in their backyard, China. About 90% of their sales are locked in there, selling high and keeping prices competitive. But this wasn't BYD's first rodeo. They'd already outshined Tesla in production the year before, but they were also counting hybrids at that time. So when they rocked up at the IAA in Munich in 2023, they had every reason to flaunt their success. With 1.86 million new energy vehicle sales last year alone, three times more than the year before, BYD proudly claimed the title of the world's number one new energy vehicle brand. And now, they're leaving Tesla in the dust with EVs only. BYD, also known as Build Your Dreams, started as a tiny startup with just 20 people in 1995. Fast forward to today, and they've become a giant in the electric car scene. Now, founded by chemist Wang Shengfu in China, BYD started off making lithium-ion batteries suitable as the whole smartphone craze kicked into high gear. They quickly became the go-to supplier for giants like Motorola and Nokia, and business was booming. Now, Sean Fu wasn't just some random dude who stumbled into battery tech. He'd been fascinated by it since his student days. In 2003, BYD made a bold move into the car world by snatching up Xi'an Qinshan Automobile, marking the birth of BYD Auto. Their first car, the F3, rolled onto the scene in 2005, looking suspiciously similar to a Toyota Corolla but with a much smaller price tag. Then in 2008, BYD dipped its toes into the electric vehicle pool with the F3 DM, the world's first mass-produced plug-in hybrid. It wasn't exactly a hit back then, but a $232 million investment from Warren Buffett in 2008 gave BYD's EV dreams a serious boost. Fast forward to 2020 and BYD drops a game changer, the Blade Battery, a sleek lithium-ion phosphate battery that's cheaper and safer than other lithium-ion batteries used in EVs. The Blade Battery debuted in BYD's sporty sedan, the Han, and sales went through the roof. From 131,000 in 2020 to a staggering 1.57 million the following year. The batteries are the priciest part of an electric car, making up about 40% of the total cost. And when you're a pro at making batteries like BYD, you've got a serious edge in the EV game. But BYD isn't stopping there. Like NIO before them, they're setting their sights on global markets, especially Europe. They're rolling out three of their models there. And to top it off, they've snagged the title of official EV sponsor for the Euro 2024 football championships. Now, let's discuss the BYD Atto 3. What's so special about this car, you ask? Well, for starters, it's not your average gas guzzler. It is all about going green. It's fully electric. And let me tell you, it's so quiet you won't hear a peep. Gone are the days when BYD was flying under the radar. They're a powerhouse in Asia and are now making waves worldwide. Let's explore the world together and aim for the stars. In just 11 months since launching its passenger car brand in Europe, BYD has made its mark in 15 European countries. But let's not overlook the elephant in the room. The Chinese government has played a big role in the rise of Chinese EVs like BYD. With hefty tax breaks and incentives, the EV industry has flourished and BYD has come out on top in China with a 35% market share, leaving Tesla behind at 7.8%. So what sets BYD apart from the competition? While Tesla focuses on style and branding, BYD offers bang for your buck. They've undercut Tesla's prices thanks to some generous subsidies 
making electric cars more accessible to the masses. While Tesla aimed high, BYD took a different route, focusing on fleets and buses first. They churned out batteries on a massive scale, a key factor behind their success over US and European competitors. BYD's commitment to battery development has been a game changer, giving them a significant edge. Unlike many rivals relying on external suppliers, BYD manufactures many of its car components in-house. It cuts down on costs and sidesteps the delays and logistical headaches that have plagued companies like Tesla. One of BYD's secret weapons is vertical integration. By controlling 75% of the car's added value through in-house production, they've positioned themselves for success. And they're not shy about it. They call it vertical integration, which sets them apart. Their vertical integration gives BYD the agility to respond quickly to market trends and provide top-notch customer service. Plus, they're not stopping there. BYD is actively securing lithium deposits to strengthen their vertical integration game further. So, what's next for BYD? To maintain their number one spot, they'll need to keep expanding. And while the road ahead may have its bumps, growing demand in Southeast Asia and Australia is definitely on their side. With a solid foothold already established in markets like Thailand, BYD's winning formula looks set to keep on rolling. Now, navigating the European market isn't a walk in the park for BYD. The aggressive push of Chinese auto giants into Europe has raised eyebrows, prompting the EU Commission to scrutinize Chinese EV imports. This investigation could result in higher tariffs, with concerns about unfair competition from those hefty state subsidies we mentioned earlier. However, this crackdown could backfire, potentially hurting European car brands. German manufacturers in particular are feeling the heat, fearing retaliatory measures in China if obstacles are imposed on European players. In a bold move, BYD announced plans to construct a new electric car factory in Hungary, marking the first time a Chinese company will produce cars in Europe. The EU investigation aims to encourage manufacturers like BYD to establish plants within the EU, prompting BYD's response to the Hungarian factory initiative. Meanwhile, the EU is also working on starting its battery supply chain, tackling hurdles such as sourcing critical raw materials domestically. As for the US, it's a tough chore. Geopolitical tensions between China and the US have forced BYD to take a more cautious approach to entering this market. While BYD has been supplying electric buses to the US for years, they've yet to dip their toes into the car market there. However, with their eyes on European success, they may be considering plans to set up shop in the US, a move that could be crucial for their long-term success in the fiercely competitive American market. So, in the US, a hefty 27.5% tariff slapped on cars coming in from China, which puts a bit of a roadblock in front of BYD's American dreams. Meanwhile, everyone's still waiting for Tesla's supposed affordable electric car to hit the scene. If it does show up, it could shake things up and give those cheaper Chinese EVs a run for their money. Tesla's move into the more affordable car market is a big deal. There's talk that they might release a Model 2 sometime next year, catering to folks who want an electric ride without breaking the bank. While BYD is riding high as the EV champ for now, it's worth remembering that this isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. VW's in the race too, but there's still quite a gap between BYD and Tesla. Experts reckon BYD will keep leading the electric car charge for a while yet. But how will the old school car giants react to all this? German brands like VW are playing catch up, realizing that innovation and fair pricing are the keys to staying in the game. And don't count out the possibility of another Chinese brand rising up as BYD did. Geely's got some tricks up its sleeve, with many cool cars in the works that could shake things up even more. As the electric car competition heats, we're all in for exciting times. More options, more innovation, it's a win for us consumers. But with all the geopolitical tension in the air, it's going to take some serious effort from other car makers to challenge BYD's reign. What do you feel and think about all this? Do you have any thoughts on where the electric car scene is headed? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for all the latest updates.